Garmin's 17.10 software release from late 2019 adds support for digital switching PGNs. Now, Garmin has given you the ability to easily configure on screen your digital switching controls. You can dim the lights, turn lights on and off, turn additional loads on and off, as well as see the status of them. Plus, Garmin allows you to easily overlay icons showing the status of each digital switching load on your boat or as you see here on a sample vessel. We started here with a blank digital switching screen. I've named it Panbo Digital Switching as you can see across the top. Upon pressing the menu button I'm presented with several options, the first of which is the circuits list. The circuits list will allow you to see all of the circuits currently configured and visible to the MFD. You can see there's quite a few aboard Have Another Day right now. I have test systems from Seazone, Meritron, and Yacht devices all running in here. Several are running in compatibility modes that has them showing up multiple times. But if I click on one load, for instance, my upper flybridge lights, I can see that it's currently off as shown by the lack of green elements lit in the dimmer. Uh, and, but pressing the dim plus button will turn on the load. You'll see the load will ramp slowly from off to fully on. That's one of the things that I've set within the C-Zone configuration file. If I scroll down to another load, for instance, here at the bottom where I've got my docking lights, my engine room lights, and my cockpit lights, these are simply on-off loads. So when I toggle one of them, as I can do with this unlabeled button here, you'll see it comes fully on and fully off with each press. Same thing with the engine room lights, and then again with the cockpit lights. So that's a quick way to control and see every circuit on the boat. But if I want to set up a screen with, pre, with switches pre-placed on it so that I can control loads quickly, I can do that as well. To start, I'm going to press the menu button and then go to the setup option. The setup option will allow me to edit my current page and then edit my switches. So, so far, you can see that I have a blank set of switches from which I can add. Uh, I've discovered that in order to best place the switches, I want to turn on my boat image first. Eventually, I'm going to place icons for each switch that I've configured over that boat image. That will allow me to see visually what lights are on and where they're located. But now, I'm going to go to Edit Switches. I'm going to pick the first switch visible, this top left one that's highlighted in blue, and I'm going to touch the Add Switch button. I'm now going to select from all of my list of switches and scroll down to the bottom where I know that I have my docking lights, which is now configured in that first switch. Now I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to repeat the same process. So engine room lights are now added. We'll do it again and we will add some cockpit lights. On a boat with fewer switching devices, it would be a little faster to scroll through them. For me, it just takes a moment to scroll all the way to the bottom and find the lights that I want to add. Okay, now I've added those first four, but now let's add some additional switches. So I'll click on the next one, and now we're going to add, these are some C-Zone switches. So I'm going to add my what I call my lower flybridge lights onto the next one, and I'm going to add my upper flybridge lights. You'll see the upper flybridge lights show up as two switches. That's because I have them configured within the C-Zone configuration file to have a dim down and dim up button. Uh, the lower flybridge lights are also dimmable, but they're operating as a one button dimmer where you press and hold to dim or brighten the lights. Uh, lastly, we're going to add a couple of switches that will control the radar power as well as some power to the cameras on my hardtop. So we've added the radar. And now we will add the M232 FLIR camera and quantum radar uh, power circuit as well. So now those are all done. We can go back and you can see all the switches are there and visible on screen. But now let's place the switches. So we'll start with our docking lights and we're going to set the position. I'm just going to drag to about where they are. This picture obviously is not a perfect profile of have another day, but it gets the idea across. So I've set the position for the docking lights. Let's do the same for the engine room lights. Engine room's about there. Now we'll set the position for the cockpit lights. This was the upper cockpit lights, which are kind of there. And now we'll do the lower cockpit lights. The lower cockpit lights are right about there. Uh, flybridge lights. This boat doesn't, this picture doesn't really have a flybridge, but that'll have to do. 
upper flybridge lights there and now our radar unit so we're gonna put the radar unit kind of oh, somewhere around there okay so now we can go back and we can see that right now the only load that is on from the icons is our radar unit if I click it off you'll see the icon go off turn it back on you can do the same with our docking lights there they are all nice and lit engine room lights cockpit lights more cockpit lights and then the lower flybridge lights as well as the upper flybridge lights when I tap dim on these when or excuse me when I tap these buttons they both turn on they slowly ramp to full brightness I can hold the dim down button and that will cause the flybridge lights the upper flybridge lights to get dimmer I can do the same thing with the lower flybridge lights but this is a one button so it's going to dim all the way down and then all the way back up I held it long enough that I actually dimmed it all the way down to off I can toggle it again it'll turn back on and repeat so you can see it was pretty easy to set all of the switches that I have on the boat as well as configure where they show up on the pictograph of the boat um, I've done a little looking for a better line drawing of have another day. I haven't come up with one so far, but uh, stay tuned. I'll do my best to find one.